Sifting through the ashes, friends and family of those living in Highlands retirement residents try and find anything salvageable after a fire ripped through the home. My friend um, looks like he lost quite a bit of his uh, possessions in the uh, end of the building here that was worst hit by the fire. And I'm just a friend that's come along to uh, ask if there's anything we can do to retrieve some of his belongings. Those possessions include war medals, which fire crews say they'll be able to recover for this resident. However, according to neighbour Brian Harris, the man is lucky to be alive. He would not leave, so I had to physically um, stronghold him and get him out of there. And then, of course, uh, he wanted his kitties, so I went in and got his kitties. We, we stayed low. There was just too much smoke and there's actually flames all engulfed the whole living room. It was kind of crazy because he was hanging onto the wall and he wouldn't let go. Fortunately, all 65 residents and four staff members made it out of the home safely. But 18 units have been badly damaged by the fire. I ruled the fire to be accidental in nature. Uh, we focused on the area at the rear of the structure and I confirmed that the fire did start on the exterior wall of unit number 59. Uh, appears to have started in a planter and uh, looks like uh, discarded smoking material is the cause. It's unclear at this time when the residents will be able to return home. Jen Zielinski in Kelowna for Castanet News.